everyone. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all being safe with your families. I'm super excited that you got to join me today because today we're going to get to talk about something really cool. And because we are already great scientists, we know that science is all around us. But did you know that also things are constantly changing around you? Take nature, for example. Sometimes it's like raining. Sometimes it's like sunny. Sometimes it's really, really hot. And sometimes it's really, really cold. These are all changes that happens around us. And these changes also happens in our homes. Like take food, for example. Food can change. Sometimes food can rot. And sometimes food can spoil. These are all changes. And all these changes can cause the materials um, sometimes to release energy and also to sometimes form or create new substances. And in chemistry, these changes are put into two main types. In chemistry, they are put into chemical changes and also physical changes. And today we are going to get to talk about, we're going to get to talk about that and do some super cool science experiment. But before we get started, I know you're probably thinking, Miss Bigby, what is physical change? And what is chemical change? And oh yeah, what is chemistry? We're gonna to get to talk about all of that. And also, I'm gonna to get to show you how to create a secret message using just baking soda, some Q-tips, some paper, and some water. And of course, some fruit that you have in your house. All right, I'm super excited, so let's get started. Before we talk about physical and chemical changes, let's talk about what chemistry is. Chemistry is the branch of science that studies the properties of matter and how matter interact with energy. Anything that takes up space is called matter. For example, rocks, um, air, and water are all matter. Now let's talk about these vocabulary words, like the physical change and the chemical change, so that you can be able to help me figure out in my experiment whether it's a physical change that happened or a chemical change that happened. The first one we're going to talk about is physical change. When a physical change happens, it affects the shape, the size, and the form of a substance. Now, physical changes come in many different forms. It can be a change in the shape or the appearance of an object, like when you're crumbling a piece of paper, or cutting or blending or dissolving something. Another great example of physical change is states of water, like ice melts and becomes water. Like water can evaporate, like um, in the example, boiling water. If you're boiling water, it can evaporate and become steam. So that is a physical change but it doesn't really change the form of the water it's still water at the end even though it has evaporated it's still water even though it's like really cold it's still water so that's a nice way of knowing that it's a physical change because the substance like there's no new substance that's form a chemical change occurs when the matter of two or more substances are rearranged to form a new substance in a chemical change, a chemical reaction happens and that reaction either releases or absorbs heat or other energy and sometimes they may form a gas, an odor, and the color might be different. A great way to remember this is like, let's say roasting a marshmallow for an example. When you roast a marshmallow, the, the outside of the marshmallow becomes brown and the crispy substance on the outside of the marshmallow, it's like evidence that a chemical change has taken place. So like the examples of chemical changes, um, let's say like baking a cake, um, like an iron that's rusted, like that's a chemical change. And also heating sugar to form caramel, that's also like a chemical change. So now I have a thinking job for you. I am gonna go to my kitchen and mix some smoothie and fry some egg. And your thinking job is to make a prediction and predict. Do you think a chemical um, change is going to happen when I make um, my smoothie? Or physical change is going to happen? And also, when I fry my egg, do you think if you fry in an egg, is it a physical change or a chemical change that's going to take place? So that's your thinking job. And come with me. We're going to start by making a smoothie first.
Remember, your thinking job was to figure out whether a chemical change was going to happen or a physical change was going to happen. Now, I went ahead and I um, took my fruit. I have banana, oranges, um, some blackberries, and some strawberries. But you can get creative. You can add anything you want to your smoothie. So now I want to know, um, take a set to think. Do you think the changes that's going to happen is a physical change or a chemical change? If you predicted a physical change, you are correct. A physical change took place while I was making the smoothie. Although the chemicals in the smoothie, like the, the fruits, um, they changed their size when I was blending it. The water and the minerals from the fruit didn't change. And because of that, it's not a chemical change. It's a physical change that took place because no chemicals changed while I was blending it. It's just that the shape of the fruit um, in the smoothie changed, but no chemicals changed. So it's a physical change. Nice job. Now I have another question for you. I have my smoothie ready, but now I want to fry some eggs. So your job is to think again. Do you think a physical change is going to happen or a chemical change? So I have my egg ready and I'm going to get ready to fry it. Um, if you're going to do this, you need adult supervision so you don't hurt yourself. Um, eggs have something called protein and amino acid. So when I added heat to the egg, um, the molecules that make up the eggs are not changing. They are bonding with new molecules to make a new substance. So with that being said, remember your thinking job. Do you think... Um, the change that's taken place is a physical change or a chemical change. If you said a chemical change, you are correct. A chemical change is taking place because a new substance was created. One way to remember a chemical change is that it is irreversible. That just means that you cannot reverse it or go backwards. For physical changes, these changes may or may not be reversible changes. Um, an example is if you keep water in the freezer for some time, it transforms into ice. This ice is reversible changes. You can, if you take the water, um, the ice out of the freezer and you put it out um, for some time, the ice melts into, back into liquid water. So this change is reversible. This is one of the ways to remember if a change is a chemical change or a physical change. Remember, a chemical change means that it is irreversible. That means you cannot change it back to the way that it was. So now I am ready for us to begin our experiment. Now in this experiment, you're going to need some baking soda, Q-tips, cup of water, um, some blackberries, and a piece of paper. Okay. Let's get started. All right, to start, you're gonna mix two spoons of baking soda into the glass of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix two spoons of baking soda in my glass, in my water. So that's my first one. And I didn't have enough, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Mix it. I mean, the baking soda doesn't have to be um, mixed completely, but just stir it up until it's a little bit cooler. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir it up for like 15 seconds. And, and then I'm going to take my Q-tips, um, dip it into the, the water with the baking soda that I just mixed. And then I'm going to write my secret message. So I'm going to write my message and... When you're done writing your message, you um, have to let it dry for about 10 minutes. After a few minutes, my paper looks like there's nothing on it. The water evaporated and left the crystals of the baking soda on it. Now we're going to use a chemical reaction to reveal the secret message. The blackberry, we're going to take it and use the juice of the blackberry to rub it all across my so paper. So keep rubbing it until the, the juice of the blackberry um, covers 
the entire paper, like wherever you wrote the message, make sure all the entire paper is covered with the, the Blackberry. And as you can see, the secret message is starting to be revealed. The secret message is revealed thanks to the purple pigment in the Blackberry and the, chemi the chemicals in the baking soda. The reaction formed a new substance, which is blue. As you can see, the color blue, this only happened when both chemicals, the chemicals in the Blackberry and the baking soda came together. So now I'm wondering, do you think this would work with any other fruit? Um, what happens if you like replace, instead of using like a baking soda, you can use, um, let's say sugar or salt. So let's review really quickly. We learned that a physical change can affect the shape, the size, and the form of a substance. A physical change may or may not be reversible change. In a chemical change, a new substance is formed and chemical changes are irreversible changes. We also learned that matter is anything that takes up space and that chemistry is the branch of science that studies the properties of matter and how matter interacts with energy. I can't wait to see all of you trying this experiment and um, I can't wait to see all the messages you write using this experiment. Thank you for learning about physical and chemical changes with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you all had fun. I just want to remind us, I didn't want to remind all of us that our, um, on April 20th, there will be no videos posted because it's April vacation. So I hope you all enjoy, um, enjoy your April vacation and stay safe. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.